All right, welcome back with more Stranger Things. This is season four, episode two. So we have a new monster. It says Vecna's curse here, so I guess it probably is Vecna. It's terrifying, capable of human speech, went after Chrissy and killed her. Eddie witnessed it all. It'll be interesting to see where he goes with this, especially since he has friends in his D&D group who've encountered real monsters before, now that he knows that at the moment. But yeah, the character beats in this season have been really fun uh, in the first episode. Uh, I really miss all these kids and the adults too, so it'll be fun to uh, continue seeing where they go. All right, excited to watch more. Full reactions gonna be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's get started. Hopper! How did you survive? Did you dive into the hole? Wait, he's down there? Is that him? No, that's some piece of metal. There he is. He's still here. They didn't try to find him? I thought he went into the Upside Down. So how did he wind up in, like, a gulag? <laughs> Max, nightmares, and painkillers. Is Eddie somehow gonna get blamed for this? If Max sees, she'll know what's going on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get me out here. Get back inside. Back inside. She's a kid. Relax. Chief Cloud. Chief. Listen. You're chief now. I don't even know how to describe it. I've never seen it. Oh. Uh, look. People listening. Aw. Look how excited they are. Oh my god. <laughs> what a ridiculous getup. Oh, he brought flowers. It's too much yellow. I, I know you also like purple, so I got some purple as well, so I kind of did like a 70 30 split. Okay. Perfect, thank oh. you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hug, man. They have skating and games. Are your friends gonna meet us there? Friends? What, what friends? You know, Stacy and Angela. What? Angela. You'll meet them, I promise. Just no! I want today. Me what about Will? Oh, she said he was painting. Hi, Bowman. She said he was painting for someone he liked. Genuine laugh. Of course she laughed, Robin. It's my Muppet joke. It's hilarious. My point is that Vicky laughed, and everything was just like it was perfect. But Aww. I'm having this problem where it's like I should stop talking. It's like I'm digging this hole for myself, and I want to stop digging, and I'm trying to stop digging, but I can't, and I'm doing it right now, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Oh, I'm hopeless. Aww. We both are. If only we could just like combine. What? Combine? Like fusion, huh? Benny's Burgers. Oh, boarded up. Say winners only. Whoa. They're hanging out in here. Yikes. Hawking student got murdered. What? Yeah, it's on every channel. Maybe Chrissy didn't stand you up after all. Hey. Wow. Relax, man. It was a joke. A joke. Well, she's dead. On, someone just... Oh, they're here. Because he's a suspect, because he's the boyfriend. Don't yet know if foul play was involved. Even though Eddie is he was she was at Eddie's. Would you be up for a field trip? Investigative journalism. This is Beverly Moss, signing off for My heart can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. You wouldn't you'd be worse off if you knew who was involved. I mean no one was nice to us. No one except Eddie. I mean they said the same shit about Ted Bundy. And so you're saying Eddie is like Ted Bundy. No, that, I'm not, we can't presume anything, okay? But it doesn't look good for Eddie. Yeah, she's right. Why haven't you told the cops this? She's no I snitch. Know. I don't know. After I saw Eddie and Chrissy go in the trailer, something else happened. What? Oh, this happened here too. She heard him scream and then run. There's only one person who knows what actually happened. Gotta find Eddie. Eddie. <sighs> How are you gonna find him? No. You heard the news, it's not safe. Good point. We'll be extra careful. Thanks, Mama. Love you. Bye. 
No government, please. Kind no government, please. Enzo. Enzo? I like it even less in person. <laughs> I mean, like it. It's signed Enzo. So? So, there's only two people who knew about our date at Enzo's, and that's me and I. Oh. So whoever wrote this, hopped oh. on to make him sign it Enzo. Smart. You saw him die, Joyce. No, she didn't. She closed her eyes. Oh. She opened them back up and... I didn't see a body. Because it was vaporized. I am talking torture, Joyce. An elaborate ruse to capture you as well. I mean, they could have just come and... You just made all that up. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just making everything up at this point. He was able to get up. They just got to him before he could get out. They look like children. They... Oh, damn. This woman. Who is she? Crap. Unless you tell me. She's wearing a Russian uniform. The elephant? Does he still have all his fingers and his toes and... Is this oxygen deprivation? Oh, wait, is this the elephant? Hypoxia. God damn. Bitchin, right? Yeah, yeah, bitchin. Do you come bitchin. here a lot? Yeah. Will does not, no. but I go to parties here. It's a big party place. Haha, <laughs> I roll. You need socks. Oh. What are you doing? Why do you keep lying to Mike? I'm not lying. Yes, you are. Friends with I asked for vomit green and I got vomit green. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? You know he's right. Come on. Come out with it. She's not going to come out with it now, but come on. Oh, putting back that smile. Oh, she doesn't want him to think less of her. Poor Will just standing there in the background. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Snitch. She didn't say a thing. You dumb asshole. She tried to cover for you after what you did. What does Eddie have to do with all this? Did that freak hurt her? Did he hurt Chrissy? Uh. What did they say? Are they gonna call our parents? That's what you're worried about? Up Eddie's friend's phone numbers. Oh, Eddie. Your new best friend, Eddie, you think is cooler than me because he Ed. plays a nerdy game? Yes. I never said that. Seriously? Maybe <laughs> you're not Jonathan. Clearly not. I'm here, present, and accounted for. I've gone through wow. a lot of managing editors, okay? Ooh, somebody's testy. <laughs> I mean, no, Bozo. Not here. You killed that kid last year. What? What? He's messing with him. Ugly scar in your face. What? It's from that crash. It was what? Oh yes, shit. Oh shit. You're a murderer is what you are. What the fuck? You know it. Murderer. Murderer. You're looking a little peaked. Fine. He's next. Yeah. Fun. If I show you something, you wouldn't tell anyone, right? Who would I tell? You're my only friend, Jonathan. <laughs> it's an acceptance letter. To Lenora community. That's where I'm going. But you're going to Emerson with Nancy. No, I'm not. She just doesn't know it yet. Wait, hold on. Shit. What? Like, I can't leave my mom and my brother to. Oh to, man. To if I told her the truth, then she just she just throw her dreams out the window to come out here and be with me. Oh. Shit. I mean, it's all shit. Communication, oh, man. Oh my God. Never end. What is your approach here? <laughs> Slow motion break up with Nancy? Yeah, yes. right? No! no! Oh my god! Go! Backpack in the back of the van! Go! Oh my god. <laughs> got me stressed out, it's not even my girlfriend. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, mine's better. No, it isn't. Milkshakes? Shit. <laughs> Will's protective. Mike, did you not realize that the vibes are wrong? We're just having 
Your type of fun is not kind. Oh shit. Oh no. What? Move. Go. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Voila, okay. You are now calling from Durham, North Carolina. Nice. But keep it brief. How brief? A minute max. And A minute max. Proof of life. Got it. I don't know if they're prepared for that on such short notice. $40,000. You have it in Hopper's trust. For the girl, yes. Uh, oh. Yes. yes. Bring to Yuri's fish and fly in no Alaska. We need to know that he's alive. Hey! Forty thousand. Yuri's fish and fly. Two days. Do not call again. Two days. <laughs> Poor Hopper. Отправьте его на Камчатку. What is this? A labor camp? Drugs? No, that's what I said. Chris, you would never touch this shit. And they wouldn't even show oh. her face. Probably sacrificed her. Drained her blood for the devil. I guess Satanists do that shit. That's what I'm saying. It's this cult he's in. No, oh my god. There isn't a cult. D D, &D? Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Well, shit, I've read the wrong person plays this game. It can it can warp their mind. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Reality and innocent people die. I mean, it's been happening all over the country. It's like no, it hasn't. An epidemic. Yeah, I read about that shit. It's real. And I think Eddie. Oh my god. And chances are he's still in the game. Meaning he's gonna kill again. She wants to go out there. She wants to do something. About this guy's yeah! let's go on speeches are ridiculous. Yeah! Reefer Rick. No, does this Reefer Rick. Rick have a last name? So my boyfriend won't like totally puke when I bring it home. Boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Later. Oh, it's Steve. <laughs> oh, Steve. Maybe we don't need a last name. Robin's a smart cookie. Rick. Rick. Rick Conroy, Sixteen Candles, Teen Wolf, and Romance. Interesting. Wow. This is cool. Times at Ridgemont High. Chin Chin Chong's next move. Fast times again. Chin Chin Chong's <laughs> up in smoke. Bingo. Let's do it. Let's tea. It's a perfect place to hide. Well done. And we're closing for the day. I'm telling you, we've talked to everyone. Nope. Not everyone. Dog. Max's dog. Oh, you want to tell us everything? Nancy, come Aww. on. Let's get out of here. Stay here. Eddie's uncle. Crap. You think you know who might have done this? You ever hear the name Victor Creel? Victor Creel? Oh God, is he? You're too young. Oh boy, he's Everybody dead too, isn't he? Killed his whole family. Took their eyes. Took their Came eyes. Right like that. What's his name? The white mask. Killed the babysitters. Oh shit. Michael Myers. Yeah. His clock again. Michael Myers. You're gonna find him the same way. Oh, the guilt. Oh, murderer. Wait, you don't hear that? I think she's talking to Enzo. Yeah. Play it again. Uh, I can't understand it. It's too low. Oh. Ah, nice. Musar, short of Calls him a Musar. Musar. Literally, Musar translates to trash or garbage. It's like pig here. Often directed at cops. Cops? Oh. Or guards. Oh. We are getting Hopper back. Okay. <laughs> She was having trouble for like a year. You didn't tell me. I didn't know she was lying to you. Which is why you decided to be a douche to her all day. I wasn't being a douche. You were. You were. What? You were rolling your eyes. You were. I've been a total third wheel all day. It's been miserable. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, whatever. Oh, come on, man. If Vecna is looking for traumatized people. Sorry, you can't quite a teacher today. 
You'll just have to cry to your daddy instead. Oh wait, can't do that either. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, hell. What did you do? What did you do? What have you done? Fucking hell. Oh, that's not what we wanted. I mean, deserved it, but like, now she's... Okay, keep pressing okay, the button. Well, that's... Rick! Reef for Rick! <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone home? That was a very cute hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? He might be in here. So you're jabbing him with the. Steve will get him with his oar. Uh, I know you think you're being funny, Harrison, <laughs> but considering the fact that everyone in this room has nearly died about a hundred times personally, I don't find it funny in the. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> We're on your side. I swear on my mother, right, guys? Yes, yes, we swear. Yeah, on, on Dustin's mother. Yeah, on Dustin's, Dustin's mother. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. He saw some shit. We've all seen some shit. I want to know what happened. You won't believe me. Oh yes, they will. Try us. <laughs> She's been looking for hours. It was the light outside before. Uh, he's next. Her bones started to snap. Uh, Her eyes are like ghosts and shit. There are some things worse than ghosts. Whoa. Spiders. I think it's terrifying. What do you want? To end your suffering. A curse. Vecna's curse. Fucking hell. What the... He's connecting to our world with those. And Eddie didn't see any dust because he didn't come over. He's doing it from the other world, from the upside down. So we find out that Vecna is a fast and efficient killer, killed two people in two days, both of whom have been heavily traumatized. Like, why do you have to attack people who are already hurting? And I guess with Chrissy, Vecna said he'd end her suffering, and with Fred, he told him to join him. So does he subsume their anguish to make himself stronger? Are their consciousnesses alive within him still? I don't know, but I definitely feel like he's going to start taking over one of our kids. It's just too compelling a possibility for them not to do. I just hope we can save them somehow. I don't want us losing uh, another character that we love. Uh, but how do we fight Vecna? Like, he's not even in our world. The conversation the group had with Eddie at the end very specifically said that there was no black dust around, and then we saw Vecna in the Upside Down connecting to the outer world through those, I don't even know, vines. So is there a way to defeat him from out here, or are we actually going to have to go into the Upside Down and hunt him down? And it also feels like there's no shot we can do this without Elle's power, so I wonder at what point we'll be able to get those back. And speaking of Elle, continuing to get bullied like that, I mentioned before that I didn't see much bullying in my school. Definitely didn't see it in elementary school. In middle school, high school, it was mostly some like mutual ribbing between friends. The worst thing I ever saw was like a guy two years above me who would call people names on the handball court. Uh, he called me a fat ass once. I said, yeah, but I can always lose the weight, but you're stuck with that face forever. And... I mean, that's just so incredibly tame compared to what Elle has to go through. Are you kidding me? And also, how is Angela going to call Elle a snitch when she actively tried to cover for you? Said that she tripped on her own. <sighs> but yeah, the thing at the skating rink was just so over the line. And Elle, damn it. Like, I think Angela deserved it, but I still wish 
L didn't do it. And not because, like, oh, it was wrong to do violence. No. I, like, I'd say the psychological damage these kids did to her was still completely surpassing what she did to Angela. But at this point, L is going to become even more of a social pariah. They might even get violent with her in the future. Plus, she'll get severely punished while all of them will get scot-free, continue off scot-free. And immediately her own boyfriend was like, what did you do? Which is just, seems like such an odd thing to ask. Like, did you not see the girl on the floor? Seems rather obvious what she did. And honestly, she's perfectly justified in doing it. I'm just worried that she'll face a lot of backlash and not be able to defend herself. And then also her hurting Angela triggers her guilt over the massacre in the flashback from episode one. And now she feels like a monster, even though she just wants to go about her own business and be a kid. I don't know what the right thing for her to do in that situation, though, is. I, I I don't blame her, but I'm just like, oh, things are going to get worse for her before they get better. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a bad situation all around. But it definitely feels like California is not working out for anybody in that family. Um, like, maybe with Joyce heading off to Alaska to bring Hopper back, maybe they'll all move back to Hawkins eventually. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Joyce didn't even tell anybody before she left. Her kids are going to come home and be like, Mom, where are you? And I do, they do have the stoner older brother there. Uh, his friendship with Argyle is a lot of fun, it seems like. Uh, what was that line? <laughs> Got me stressed out and it's not even my girlfriend. <sighs> but yeah, it's so sad that Jonathan wants so desperately to be with Nancy, but also feels the obligation to stay and look after his family, and then is afraid that she'll give up her dream school to come be with him. And like, Will has... His younger brother, Will, has been through so, so much. Too much. And so I understand Jonathan's desire to stay. And... Yeah, it's just, he's afraid of her resenting him if she comes and stays with him, and, like, it feels like a slow train wreck kind of relationship, and I just want them to communicate with each other. Like, they're all teenagers in the 80s, no less, so it's a lot to ask, but, like, I want to root for them. I want them to work things out. Uh, but then there's Will, who feels so disconnected from his best friend. Like, Mike didn't even freaking hug him. Come on, man. Like, I had forgotten that Mike has always been kind of a dickish guy, but, like, this episode definitely reminded me of that. And, like, why am I the bad guy for letting our friendship fall apart? Like, take some responsibility, man. Like, I gotta remember that these kids are still supposed to be, like, 15 years old, because it's hard because they look like college students. So I'm like, dude, grow up, but, like, he's meant to be a child. Uh, there's time for character growth, yada yada. Uh, though I still think, like, a lot of adults do this thing where they prioritize their romantic relationships so much that they neglect their friendships. And it kind of sucks. And Will just being the third wheel there. It actually seems like he has a crush on Mike. Because L said that the painting was for somebody that Will likes. And he brought it to see Mike and was going to give it to Mike. So if she's right, then it seems like Will has feelings for Mike. And... Yeah, not the greatest situation. That's not going to work out. We had some nice, wholesome content with Heartstopper, that Netflix show, and now this. It's going to be devastating. Uh, and then there's the basketball team. Prissy's boyfriend just riling everybody up to with his, like, really bad speeches. Like, I understand he wants revenge, but he got the complete wrong target. Oh, it's so bad. Like, maybe the group helps in the end against the real threat, but at this point, it feels much more likely that they just beat up Eddie to within an inch of his life, or they just straight up kill him. Uh, so ridiculous how rabid these kids are over at D&D. Like, propaganda really is the mind killer. Oh, I guess mainstream media is actually the mind flayer in our real life, right? I guess? No. Maybe. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that guy before who said before they realized who died was like hey looks like chrissy didn't stand you up after all damn that was brutal freaking brutal of course he didn't know at the time but damn um but also they were staying in benny's burgers poor benny justice for benny from season one i think it was the first episode he died yeah um and then lucas knows his friends are going to be in trouble though if the basketball dudes come after eddie because i mean mike's off but destin uh, dustin is gonna is this, Dustin is close friends with Eddie, so Lucas has to watch his back. Um, so yeah, he's going to have to divert the basketball team's attention somehow without them catching on, or it's going to get violent real quick. And uh, I enjoyed the new dyna group dynamics in this episode. Like, all these characters are a lot of fun, and seeing them have chemistry with different people is quite a treat. Uh, Max, Dustin, Steve, and Robin is a fun new group, even though three of them are repeats from last season. Uh, Max is the new one in that group, but then add Eddie to their ranks, and yeah, it seems like it'll be a very fun dynamic. And Robin, 
She's one of my favorites. She's so cool. Last season, she figured out the cipher. And then this time, she found a way to find Reefer Rick. Good freaking job. And I haven't even mentioned really Hopper yet. So, yeah. Uh, we see that he survived. Bauman was completely wrong about him giving in to torture. But then a prison guard is bribed to help get him out. $40,000, which Joyce can take from the trust Hopper left for L. Hopper really is going through the worst of it, though. Hypoxia, forced labor for the Soviet Union. It'll be interesting to see how they'll get him out of this. Um, I can't believe he evaded the huge explosion and just nobody came to check on him and nobody came to find him, except for the Russians. Uh, but yeah, we gotta go save him. And I wonder if the Russians will have any role to play in this whole Vecna debacle. Maybe they were the ones who directed it towards Hawkins again in the first place. I don't know, but... Yeah, we'll see what happens next. This season has been a lot of fun. Really, really fascinating. And excited to continue. All right, guys. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like. Really helps with the channel. I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.